Alright, so welcome back to another tutorial on Blender. So this time around, we're going to look into 3D character modeling. So uh, character modeling itself is quite complicated. So it's kind of break up into three part series. So we'll do the model, then the animation, then followed by getting it uh, to put it into Unity. So basically, that's the three different parts. So about this tutorial itself, right? Basically, the very first part, right, we'll cover like humanoid topology. So in a uh, modeling a character, there are some consideration you need to think about on how you want to organize the vertices, faces of the character model. Follow which we'll use animation. Uh, we'll use Misamo to do the animation. So therefore, actually, there's auto-rig, so we don't need to do rigging and the animation. We just need to upload to Misamo, okay, and uh, choose the animation. Yeah, we'll use the auto-rigging that is kind of built into Misamo. Not the best, but at least it's easy and it, it looks good. So lastly is to use uh, animator and animation inside Unity, setting up various uh, animation states and transition uh, in Unity. So kind of like you got your idle animations and then you got your movement animations. So the content itself is broken up into three parts. So we'll look into how to model a 3D humanoid characters. Uh, we also look into joint topology. So how are we going to organize uh, the faces or polygons at the joints of a movable objects or bendable objects say then after which we'll look, do some animation using misamo right and lastly will be the animations uh, inside unity itself so the very first part will be the humanoid topology so basically as you can see right we start off uh, on the right side right we start off with a cube then we build the torso then we extend the legs then we add the arms so for what we do, right, we we'll normally, I will recommend to use a T-Post rather than a, a generic post like this. But kind of it's the similar idea. Then lastly, we'll build on the head, right. So kind of that's the order that we'll build our 3D uh, model, right. So I mean, you can read uh, the slides yourself, right. I mean, you can pause and just take a look. But we'll keep along this way, we'll keep the number of polygons count to as little as possible. And you can fill in the details you want later, like, I don't know, maybe put some hair, make a belt, etc. It's all up to you. But for the basic, we'll, we'll keep it to just uh, this manner. So for joint topology itself, it's a little bit trickier, right? So, uh, you know, because the joint, like your arm, your leg is going to bend. So that is a specific way that we want to model so that, you know, it can bend correctly uh, when we rig it and add, put the animation on it. Uh. So for our case, right, we will not do the best case scenario, which is the center one. We'll just probably use the one uh, that is the yellow one, right, because it's relatively easy, right. So you just need to make sure, right, for joints that you are going to bend, okay, you have got like kind of like uh, four sections to it. And the middle two section will be the one that is bending. So we we'll apply this right for your arms, legs, uh, mainly yeah. Okay, right. And looking at the wrong one, right? Okay, you see that uh, when you bend, right, you'll kind of get this twisted kind of look, uh, which is uh, of course, which is bad like. It's gonna make your model look quite bad. And the most ideal one will be this. Okay, so but I don't expect uh us to model this because it's uh, just more work to visualize uh where to cut the. Vertices. If you want to try, feel free to go ahead and try, right? But for us, we'll just be doing the one that's on the left, right? So lastly, we'll be to export the FBX. Okay, so this is kind of like the three first part to a character model. So uh, to do a demo, I will quickly jump over to Blender. <coughs> so first thing first, right? Start with a cube. Right, go into edit mode, right? The very first thing I want to do, right, is basically to cut this cube into half, and then I do a mirror, so that I do not need to like model both left and right hands, like you know, model like arms and legs twice for left and right. So change your view to the front view, okay? Then you can do a loop cut, okay? For shortcut, right, you can press Control R, right? So we want to cut in a vertical manner. Press Enter, right? So after which, right, we want to make sure we are in vertice mode. We want to select the one side, then I want to delete them. Okay, delete the vertices. Okay, delete twice. Okay, unless you're in the wireframe mode, then you will delete once. Okay, so after which, right, we'll, we'll get half of a cube. And what next we're going to do is something uh, new, which is basically you look at, there's this spanner over here, right, called modifier properties. 
Now that I click on that, then you're gonna find a options called mirror. Right. So this will mirror the cube for us. Uh we can also click on clipping. Right, so basically now right what happened is that when I click on the certain surface, right, the both left and right will move together. Okay. So with that said, right, I will select everything and I'll move it slightly higher. Okay. And I will make it a bit longer by scaling along the exact axis. Okay. Then I'll do a few more cuts in between so that I can create the torso. So I will use a loop cut. Maybe cut it once, cut it twice. Let's just cut four times. Okay. So for the very first one, right, I want to go back to my vertice mode. Okay. So I want to do the grind area of the model. So I can shift this here. Okay. So this is kind of where my leg will will extend from. Okay. So you can also make your your this uh, torso a bit thinner by scaling along the y axis. Press so the shortcut to scale will be press S, and to scale along Y will be to press Y, and to reduce it. Okay. So kind of this matter. Right. So now I want to start working on the legs. So I'll go back into face mode. Okay. You can press three for shortcut. Right. So now you have the leg. Then we want to go back to the front view. Right. So we're gonna start extruding the leg by pressing E. Okay. So for here, right, we can actually try to move it. Maybe closer. Okay. So uh we can then extend again. Move it again. Okay, so now kind of I want to build the you know the, the kneecap part of it. So I'll go back to the vertex mode, select the vertex and then move it down. Okay. So that's kind of how I have uh you know. I mean, we can do more cuts here later, okay? But at least for now, right, we'll have a kind of like a upper tie. So if let's say you want to make sure this vertice is like parallel, right? You can do a scale, which is S, along the Y axis, oh, sorry, Z axis, and press zero. So this will ensure, right, that uh, both left and right uh, vertex, right, is, in, is the same. I mean, on the same Z axis. With the, the upper tie done, right, okay, uh, maybe on the scale a bit smaller along the Z axis. Okay, so I'm gonna scale Z, uh, scale X, right. So with with that done, right, I'm gonna extrude my kneecap. So as mentioned earlier, right, for joints we want to have three parts. So I'm gonna extrude like a small part, and then another small part. Okay. So up to you. You can have a bit more, but definitely it's good to have uh this three section. Okay, right. Then now I can start working again on my, uh the calf area. So again, I will extrude out. Okay. So after this, right, then I will scale slightly long, smaller again. Okay. Right. So for this, right, we're just trying to get a humanoid characters. We are not going for like super realistic or super pretty kind of uh, standard. Okay. So after this, right, will be actually your ankle. So for ankle, we'll do uh, the quick and easy way. I mean the quick and cheat way, which is just to extrude. Okay, so this is kind of like your feet. And we're gonna change the rotation. I mean you can change the view. Then you're gonna extrude in the forward angle. Okay. Then we're gonna choose edge. And we're gonna bring the top part down. Okay, so kind of we have got a fit now. Right. So that's kind of we what we have for our bottom body, yeah. Okay. So if let's say you find the uh the leg a bit too short and stuff, right? You can uh, simply choose all the vertices, select, bring the, make the leg a bit longer, make the lower leg a bit longer. Okay. Uh, I'm not that particular on the the proportion for here. Okay. I mean, for us, what we want to achieve now, right, is to quickly uh, model a, a character, and then uh, throw it into Misamo, throw in the animations, then pop it back to Unity. Right. For the details, like how how fine, how smooth you want your characters to be, uh, you can work on that slowly, right? But uh, we will quickly proceed on to the arms now. So let me just maybe reduce the top part a bit smaller, okay? But anyway, so let's select the face. So we're gonna start to extrude the arms now, okay? So we're gonna press E to extrude. 
So as usual, because it's a joint, there's going to be three. Then the upper part of the arms. Okay, maybe you want to start to scale it down a bit. Okay, so same thing again for the elbow joints. You're going to have three parts to it. Okay, so now the lower arms. Okay, so we're going to scale down much more low, more for lower arms. Okay. Then after which we have the ankle. Oh, sorry, the wrist. Okay, for the wrist, right, same thing, three joints. Okay, and now we're gonna do the hand. Uh, okay, for the hand, I mean, again, we are not going, we are not trying to be like super uh, accurate and stuff, right? What we want to achieve here, right, is basically uh, kind of like a hand will do. Okay. Of course, you can refine them later on. I mean, refine the proportion. Ah. So for the hand, right, we also want to cut a part for the thumb uh, to grow, uh, to grow, <laughs> okay, to extend. Okay, so probably kind of do a loop cut, control R for loop cut, then kind of here. Okay. So now my hand looks quite flat, so it's okay. Uh, we'll extend them later. Uh, okay, we can do it now if you want as well. Ah. Okay, so we can extrude the thumb. Press E to extrude. Then rotate. Okay, maybe let's use top view. Rotate. Move forward. Okay. Uh, maybe kind of this part, I want to make it a bit lower. Okay, as I mentioned again, right, we are not trying to be like super realistic and stuff. Okay, but rather uh, we are just trying to make kind of like, I mean a thumb like a thumb. Lah. Again, move forward. Okay, and maybe just extrude one more time. Okay, so now we're just quickly going to go into vertices mode and just touch up a bit. Okay, because uh, I also don't want this uh, video right to be too long, so I will try my best to do a quick one. But I mean the idea is more or less similar. I mean you can spend more time to refine them if you want. Okay, but very likely right we won't be animating the, the hand. Right, so kind of a rough shape of a hand uh, will be good enough. Okay. Right, I mean, of course, you can refine the shape of your elbows and stuff. But kind of like for, for now, like this will be good enough. Okay. So now we got the hand, we got the legs. So we want to quickly move on to the head. Right, so from the head, we'll go to the face mode. Right, we'll click on this surface. Okay, so then we'll start to, uh, okay, we're going to make a neck. Okay. So for the neck, right, uh, we can use I for inset, make it smaller. Okay, then we can press B for boundary lah. So basically, you just go to the side. Okay, so for this right, I will go to my edge two and select this edge and push it in. Okay. So after which right, I will select the kind of the net portion. Okay. And I will start to grow my neck. Okay, so you can see uh, not too proportionate. Okay, so we are kind of tweak a bit uh, by going to the edge, select the edge of this side, push it in. Okay. Right, so kind of I have my, like a neck thing. Okay, so moving on, uh, I'm going to select the face again. So now, I want to extrude my neck out. Okay. Oh. This is a very fat net. Okay, I just gonna quickly touch up this. Reduce this a bit. Okay. So kind of I got my you know like a uh, shoulder then the neck. Okay, then I'm gonna extrude. So this time right, I want to do the head, which is the starting from the chin. So I will scale it up first. Then I will press. I will pull the. Z axis, 
So depending on you, if you want to have a bigger head, you can always scale bigger. Okay. Right. So once you have done, okay, then you can press E again to extrude. Okay. So you kind of have a head. Then let's extrude again and scale down. Kind of for your spot forehead. Okay. So after the front profile is done, we can work on the back pro side profile. So typically, uh, the back of our head is a bit smaller, and our side, our front is not that big. So kind of we have a chin, right? So depend on how you want your your this little character, the head, to be like. Okay. So maybe you we'll move the back a bit back. Okay. Okay, so up to you. If you want to have more details, feel free to you know have a few more loops and stuff, right? Uh, let's check quickly. Maybe some things that we want to improve. Uh, we got the joints here. Maybe the neck. Okay, let's give it like another look cut here. Okay. What else? What else? Okay, so if you want to make your character a bit more like more tone. Okay, you can give him a smaller waist. Okay, there maybe a bigger chest. Right. So for side profile, uh, maybe you have to shift a bit of the elbow inwards. Okay. Right. So kind of like you know this part you can bend, this part you can bend and stuff. Uh, you can maybe you want to make your arms a bit smaller, right? And maybe the elbow a bit higher. I mean the chest area a bit higher. Right. So maybe also the hand is not that thick. Okay, so the wrist is kind of fat as well, so we're going to reduce this. So all these final touches, right, is all I leave it to you. Okay, uh, let's undo that. Okay, so definitely this is not the nicest character model, right, but at least it's kind of like a... Uh, at least it's looking like something, at least. Okay, so just go back up, see about the proportion. Uh, maybe the arm is kind of long, so I'm gonna shorten it a bit. Okay, so okay lah, about that. Okay, so you can also go to the front view. If you want to have your character have a bit of like bigger chest, okay, you can do that as well. Maybe bigger apps. Maybe some butt. Okay. Right. So you can fill in more details. Okay. I mean, what other more details is that you like currently, right? The leg is a bit squarish. So if you want, you can do another loop cut. Control R. And you can do this. Oops. Okay. Escape. So I just put default at the front. So with this, right? Now you can put your your side vertices right a bit smaller. Okay, you can scale them kind of inwards, maybe together with the inner part as well. Right, so you want to scale them a bit inwards. Hmm. Okay, maybe maybe in the axis of y, scale y. So s then y. Okay. Maybe and a bit of x as well. So scale x. Okay, so now kind of like the leg is a bit rounder, right? So like the kneecap is a bit higher than the leg. So likewise, you can work for the hips as well. Right, you can kind of scale this. Uh, scale Y and scale S. Okay, of course, you can make it more drastic or up to you. Right, for the feet, maybe you want to make the... Okay. 
Hmm. Okay, I think we don't need to cut for the ankle. I don't think the animation or the anim the mechan uh the Misamo side has the ankle. Yeah, but anyway, so yeah, that's how you can add more details. You can add more details to the side of the leg as well. Because currently, uh, if you can see right, you got the line here, but you do not have a line here. Right. So with, with a line here, right, you can make your leg a bit more uh rounder lah, in the sense. So likewise you can do another loop cut. Okay. So now you can do more for your side profile. Oh. Okay. So all this uh refinement and touches, you know, it, it will take you some time to figure them out. Right. I mean it's a lot by trying and error and with experience. So uh I'm not a modeler by training. So definitely uh this is of course definitely things could be better. Right. Right. So now I have a kind of like a rounder leg. Okay. So maybe this part as well. Okay. So continue, you can work on it, spend a little bit more time. You do not do not need to rush through like me because I mean I'm making a video, that's why I cannot let this video run for too long. If not people you know you guys will find it boring and stuff. Right. Okay. I mean along the way feel free to go and uh uh color or design your this character if you want. Yeah, right. I mean you guys have uh checked on the different yeah, I mean you guys are able to make different colors and materials and stuff. So you can feel free to design, make it wear some clothing. I mean, if you like soccer, you can make it wear some jersey. But I mean, eventually try to make this uh, model fit the theme of your game, right? I mean, if it's an enemy, make sure it looks like evil and stuff, like a, you know, uh, if it's like kind of like a, how say, like an elf, then make sure it looks like an elf as well. Oh. So now basically uh what I'm doing is just trying to refine it. Okay, but the basic shapes and stuff are all already there. Uh let's go back to wireframe mode. All right, because now it's still pretty boxy. So I try to make it a bit rounder. All right. So basically selecting all the vertices around and try to make it rounder. I mean scale it down so that the middle will look will look bigger than the center. Okay. Right, likewise we can work on the armpit a bit. So briefly, gonna just work a bit on the forehead. So if you want can give it uh, a bit of nose. Let's say for the nose, right, you just want it to be uh, kind of like in the Y axis, which is the green axis. So you kind of, kind of scale, that make sure you scale Y. Okay. Then maybe a smaller chin. Right, so likewise, maybe make have the face a bit rounder. So more like a like a ball shape lah. Okay, so kind of it's a very rough uh character model. I mean if you want you can take reference from like uh like uh Sorry, let's find app models. Right, so you want to find something that's kind of in a T pose 
or at least if you do not have a T post, right, you can look something uh, into maybe like this type, and then you can look out for the proportion proportion of the legs. Uh. But something with a T post will generally generally be easier. Right, so T post will be something like that. Of course, this is very detailed, but roughly you can see the proportion of the kneecap, the waist, right, and then the length of the arm, right, and the elbow. Right, so you can use this as a proportion guide, but if you want like a kind of like a more like a uh, kiddish kind of character, right, then you may want to look out for other proportion, uh, maybe cute. Right, so this is kind of like a bit more drastic, right? You got a very small waist, a relatively short leg, and a relatively long body and arms. Oh. So depending on what you want to achieve uh, for your characters, you can have a reference in terms of the proportion. You want to have a very big head or a very small head, but the general concept right, of having like the models, uh, the joints, right, having you know, the, the cuts for the joints, uh, that's pretty much standard. Uh. Okay. So that is kind of like a character. So I think the very last part right, will be actually to export it uh, onto FBX again, once again. Okay, so same thing. Go back to object mode. Select the object, okay. Uh, before that, right, maybe we want to also move it up just nice on the, okay, on the zero. Okay, can. Right, so again, select the character, uh, file, export, FBX. Right, so select empty, select select the object, empty, only the mesh. There we want to apply the experimental geometry. Okay, so export, make a folder, maybe say on your desktop. Okay, so feel free to spend more time to add textures and stuff. Got to rename this. Okay, export. Okay, hey, alamak. Okay, let's throw this in. Close Blender. Save. Okay, close this. So now in our character, we have our character FBX. Okay. So feel free to spend more time to work on your uh the characters and the details. Okay. If you want to put eyes and nose, it's up to you. Okay, so take your time to refine them. Okay, so that's all for the first part. Let me head back to my PowerPoint. Okay, right. So for the second part, right, we'll be using animation and Misamo. Uh, we'll look into that in the second part of the tutorial. Okay, so for now, uh, have fun with the modeling and see you in the second part.